Good morning, folks. This is Ryan Brooks with Prairie State Tractor, a John Deere dealer here in Central Illinois. And this morning, I just want to kind of cover this 4600 Command Center um, you know, fairly briefly. Uh, this this video is going to be designed more to um, show you how to document, show you how to set up client farm field, uh, use your AB lines, uh, that sort of thing. So again, not going to be real in depth. Um, we've we've got some other videos that kind of cover that stuff um, today, just kind of the basics. So. Uh, diving right in, uh, typically the first thing we want to do is set up a client farm field, right? So a couple different ways of getting there. Top left, you can see this button that says location. That will take you to your client farm and field. For today's example, we're actually going to go to the menu, applications, and fields and boundaries. Okay, again, get you to the same spot. Okay, so we'll hit our client farm field button up here. And we're actually gonna come up here to the top and hit client. We're gonna edit the clients and we're gonna put in a new one. So we're gonna call this client PST. Okay, same thing for farm. Edit farms, hit new. And we're gonna call it PST. You can see that it automatically ties the farm with the client that I just made. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit save. Same thing for field. Okay, so our client farm field set up. So we'll get out of this. Now the second thing you typically want to do is tell the display what you're doing, what you're pulling, uh, what you're applying, tillage, whatever. For today's example, uh, we're gonna be using a, a cultivator, so we're gonna hit menu, applications, equipment, pops up this display. So it knows it's connected to this A370R, but if we select that, you can, uh, you know, serial number, um, but you can actually go ahead and uh, change these offsets or verify them or you can see what connection offset that you'd like to use, uh, whether it's the three point, the draw bar, uh, you know, whatever it is. So we're gonna add an implement and we're gonna hit new profile. And today we're gonna be using a JD cultivator. We'll hit okay. And then here is if you had, uh, you know, say like a side rest bar with a rate controller or something, this is where you would select rate controller. Uh, we don't have a controller on this cultivator, uh, so we're going to leave that as none. We're not hooked up to an air cart. Uh, we are going to go in and change some dimensions, though. We don't have a lateral offset, but the center of rotation we do want to change. So that's essentially from the connection point of the tractor to the transport wheels of the implement. Today we're gonna to call that 12 foot, hit okay. We don't have a rear connected implement, so we're gonna hit all right. And we're gonna add operation, so what are we doing? Well, today we're doing tillage. So we'll select tillage. Then our working width, how wide is the actual tool? So working width, we're gonna make this 40 foot. Select OK. Our work point, this is to make your uh, your map nice and pretty. Um, so essentially where the, the tool makes contact with the ground. We're gonna set this to 14 foot. Your work recording, whole slew of different things you can uh, select here. Um, for today's demonstration, we're going to use SCV number one. And our connection type, we're going to select draw bar. You could also add a receiver mount, you know, if you were running uh, implement guidance. We'll go ahead and hit save. And then our operation type is shank. And our depth, we're going to set as six inches today. Select OK and OK. 
So now our client farm field setup, our tool that we're pulling is set up. So the last thing we've got to do here is set up our guidance. Again, multiple ways to get to it. You can actually use this guidance tab down here. You can select guidance up here, or you can get to it through the applications tab. Okay, so what we're gonna do, if we hit set track zero, or set track, rather, no track. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new track. And since I'm not moving this tractor today, I'm gonna select A plus heading. You can also see over here your curve track, your circle track, boundary track, uh, pretty much all the stuff we're used to seeing. Again, for this one, we're gonna select A and heading. We're actually gonna, it already names the track for us. We're gonna edit that. And I'm gonna call that uh, 2022. Okay, and that's associated with the PST field. Go ahead and hit okay. I'm sitting, uh, sitting where I wanna be, so we'll go ahead and hit set A. And I'm facing straight west. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this heading. I'm gonna punch this to 270 degrees. Select okay. And we're gonna hit done. Boom. Now our AB line is set, ready to go, okay? So steering's on, essentially, um, you know, our three pieces of the pyre there, the only step uh, would be now to select your auto track button on the, on the actual tractor itself, and you're good to go. Cancel out of this. And that's essentially how to set up uh, documentation. Now, I will point out one thing, I do get quite a few calls uh, yearly on the guys that are using uh, like an SCV for a recording trigger, uh, they, they call and they say, Ryan, my recording's not kicking on for a long, long time after I dropped the tool. So I do wanna point this out to you real quick, just for, for your own knowledge. Um, you can see here, we selected SCV one, number one for this work trigger down here, okay? If you look at this SCV number one, how it's set up, the time, of that hydraulic flow is set for 120 seconds. The recording will not kick on until that that 120 seconds runs out. So, uh, what I tell guys, set it to where the, the tool is in, fully engaged in the ground, and that's the, the length of time that you want it set for. So if we hit, you know, we're gonna say it takes eight seconds to get in, in the ground. Now, if you click SCV number one, and wait for your eight seconds. Now your recording kicks on. So just keep that in mind, guys. That's a that's a big one that we get phone calls on uh, quite a bit. Um, again, we appreciate you watching the video. This was you know this is kind of a quick rundown. Um, get with us. Get with one of your ISG guys if you've got questions on this stuff. Um, again, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.